Cyberbullying can happen 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and reach kids even when he or she is home alone. It can happen any time of the day or night. Cyberbullying can happen from across the world. The things you post or send can't always be taken down or undone. Cyberbullying is bullying that takes place using different electronic devices. This could be cell phones, computers, tablets, as well as other media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Cyberbullying could be a mean text message or email that you just sent, posting an embarrassing picture of someone after they asked you not to post it, spreading rumors or posting rude comments on social media, or even creating a fake profile and talking to other people through it. Outing and trickery is also another common type of cyberbullying. This is where the bully tries to trick the person into revealing secret information or embarrassing things about them. The things you post can travel to thousands of other people in just a matter of minutes. There are many different effects of cyberbullying. When being bullied, even online, the victim often feels alone, but there is no one else going through the same thing as them. Because of this, these kids do not want to go to school. They don't want to be in an atmosphere where they can get bullied even more. Their grades often start dropping as well. These kids tend to have self-esteem issues. While being bullied, the kids have higher tendencies of using drugs or alcohol. According to NoBullying.com, 25% of teens report that they have been bullied through their cell phones or over the internet. 95% of teens have witnessed bullying and just ignore the behavior. One out of six parents are even aware of the intensity involved with cyberbullying. According to Hartford County Examiner, girls are more likely to be involved with cyberbullying than boys. In a recent news study, a 17-year-old got sentenced to one year in prison and five years to be registered as a sex offender for cyberbullying. This person blackmailed a couple of 14-year-olds to send the high schooler new picture over Snapchat. As you can see, cyberbullying can have massive effects on the one doing the bullying as well as the victim. Let's prevent cyberbullying. Parents, know what your kids are doing online. Check their online activities. Get their username and password for their different social media sites. Ask to friend or follow your child on these sites as well. Encourage your kids not to give out their information to their friends. Teach your kid to tell someone if they know if someone else is being bullied. Teach them not to just stand there and ignore the problem, to stick up for others and make a difference. If you are being bullied, whether it is cyberbullying or regular, tell someone immediately. If you are dealing with cyberbullying, make sure you save the information as proof. Also, turn off your technology. Sometimes it's easier to walk away from the situation for a little while.